Hello everyone, we have a sheep heart here. So I'm just going to go to the demonstration of the different structures of the heart. So can you come closer? So this is the apex, the sharp portion, which is the left side of the heart, which is the thicker portion of the heart. And this is the right side of the heart. So if a patient is lying down, uh, this is to his left, which is the apex, which is on the left side of the uh, vertebrae and this is to the right. So this is the left side, this is the right side. So this is the left atrial appendage of the heart and this is the right lateral appendage of the heart. It's like the flippers of a penguin. And we can see two major structures here. This is the iota that's coming from the left ventricle, which I'll open up right now. And this is the pulmonary trunk. So if we open the heart from the direction of the flow of the blood, that's from the left side, direction of the flow of the oxygenated blood, the blood is coming through the right atria, and then it gets into the, sorry, blood is coming into the left atria, and then it is coming into the left ventricle. So this is the left atria here, and left atria receives the blood from the pulmonary vein which is right here so pulmonary vein brings the oxygenated blood to the left atria and from the left atria it faces the valve which is a bicuspid valve which has two flaps this is called as a mitral valve or the bicuspid valve from the left atria blood gets into the left ventricle so this is a uh, bicuspid wall once again this is called as the caudate tendine which is attached to the papillary muscles right here so bicuspid wall caudate tendine and the papillary muscles right here this thick portion is called the papillary muscles of course we know that this is the myocardium of the heart this is the epicardium of the heart this white portion and this is the endocardium of the heart we have different conditions based on the anatomy like endocarditis one very common condition that's affecting the mitral valve is the endocardiosis of the mitral valve, which is uh, an old age uh, disease of small breed dogs where the mitral valve gets nodules and it is unable to close it properly, which causes something called as mitral regurgitation, which increases the pressure here and it increases further the pressure into the pulmonary veins. So going back, we have the left ventricle this is the interventricular septum so from the left ventricle the blood is gushing out of the iota which is right this so this is the iota and from the left ventricle so the left ventricle is like this so from the left ventricle blood goes out through the iota this way and there is a bifurcation of the iota iota which is called as the uh, brachycephalic trunk so from the iota the oxygenated blood is going into different parts of the body and the deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body enters into the right atria. So blood, deoxygenated blood comes into the right atria. This is the right atrial appendages, appendage and this is the right atria. Now we can go into the right side of the heart. So I'm just flipping the heart to the opposite side. So this is the right atrial appendage. This is the right ventricle and this chamber right here is the right atria. So from the right atria, blood goes into the right ventricle. It passes the tricuspid valve, which is right here. This is a tricuspid valve. It has three cuffs. It is connected also by the caudate tendine into the papillary muscles. So from the right ventricle, the deoxygenated blood is going into the lungs via the pulmonary trunk. So if I trace from the right ventricle, I should be reaching here, here. So. This is a pulmonary trunk. As you can see, 
it's reaching the mm -hmm. right ventricle so from the right ventricle blood goes into the lungs for oxygenation through the pulmonary trunk and we have a few more things these these are these vessels right here so this is a left side so these vessels right here are bringing the oxygenated blood into the left atria so these vessels are the pulmonary veins so pulmonary veins are the uh, ones which bring oxygenated blood into the left atria and the caudal vena cava brings the blood into the right atria So this is the caudal vena cava which brings the blood from the entire body into the right atria. So right atria, deoxygenated blood fills into the right atria. It goes through the uh, tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, then pushes, right ventricle contracts, It the blood comes out through the pulmonary trunk, goes into the lungs oxygenated blood comes to the left side of the heart and these are the fat reserves which the heart uses in metabolism there is also in true sense there is also a pericardial sac which is not visible in this uh, formal nice section and uh, there are two more walls the first one is the aortic wall so as we know this is the iota so Aortic valve is a very thick valve because it's facing that much pressure from the left ventricle. So this is the aortic valve. It's also called as the uh, left-sided semilunar valve, which is the aortic valve. And there is another valve, which is the right-sided semilunar valve, which is right here. This is a right semilunar valve, which is the valve for the uh, pulmonary trunk. I hope I covered everything. Thank you very much.